Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I'm your friend Amudar Shaktivel, and today we will see one of the in, uh, you know uh, very easy topic. We have uh, seen about uh, exception handling and other stuff. We gonna see about Java 8, uh, Docker, Elasticsearch, and Kibana. But but you know we'll take a little breather, okay? Between between some hard sessions, we'll find some uh, you know some easy videos to go through, okay? So so what I have. Uh, you know taken for today's topic is uh, you know how to simply hide your password okay suppose you have an application okay you have your dev application you have some password for your own uh, you know uh, your profile suppose say you have your crush name and your crush is also part of your project so you don't want people to you know uh, see who is uh, what is your password in your automation framework so so this is something like we want to hide our password right so this is something like that so it's uh, you know we are not going to encrypt it because uh, you know encryption is uh, very very safe uh, it's a robust way to handle stuff but we're going to do a simple encoding and decoding to hide the password okay it's not it's not going to be as effective as you think but still uh, much better than the uh, direct way of hard coding your password in in excel sheet or property files okay <clears throat> so this is what going to be the agenda for today topic we're going to see how we can encode a string how we can decode a string how we can use it in our framework again i told is this is effective no is this is not as effective as you think uh, because anyone can decode the password uh, if you have watched the whole video you will understand why it is but you know it is just a simple form uh, you know how we can easily uh, you know encode a password and decode it okay we'll we'll see that in uh, in the video so without wasting much time i i know i have created a runner class i have a main method so we have uh, don't, i'm not going to use any external packages or libraries so what we can do there is a class in java that's coming from your java.util package okay there is a method called get decoder okay so so if you want to decode your encoder password you can use decoder suppose you want to encode something okay i want to use encoder okay so getting encoder so consider my password is testing mini bytes not my crush name okay uh, so password is my uh, you know password is testing mini bytes i want to conceal this okay so maybe uh, there is something called as encode to string okay encode to string and this is accepting a byte array guys again the, the you know you need to understand this eclipse id suggestions okay so the, it is clearly telling it's accepting a byte array and returning you a string okay so so you need to convert this particular you know string into a byte array okay this is the string i want to convert into a byte array so dot get bytes there is a method called get bytes which accepts no input but it's returning your bright array right so it's coming from your string class this is the understanding of this suggestion okay so yeah i'm using this okay so this will give you an encoder string okay good encoder string okay good now there is a typo okay that's okay and i want to print this okay encoder string so now we have encoded our pass right so let's try to run this and then see what's the result okay if you notice uh, the whatever the value that i have given here is now uh, encoded into a different form of strings okay this is now a different string not the same thing okay now if you want to decode this okay because you cannot use this directly in your code okay so we need to decode and then we can use it in our code okay so how can decode the you know the method to decode is also available in base 64 get decoder and you know there is an option called decode okay this is accepting a byte array string and other stuff so maybe i'll use a byte array so whatever the string i got okay this is the encoder string okay whatever i got i'm going to do get bytes okay uh, if you notice this get bytes will return me a byte array okay i think it will return me a byte array but still i'll give string decode string something like this okay if you notice this is giving me byte array okay so if you have a byte array you want to convert to a string okay you can create an uh, instance for your string okay there is a constructor okay string class as a constructor which accepts a uh, byte array okay so if you pass this whole byte array to this constructor it will convert this into a form of string and it will give you the new string okay good guys so now we will do a sys out and see whether it's returning me testing mini bytes okay good it's returning me testing mini bytes so everything looks fine again uh, just because we want to in, uh, you know do the encoding okay we don't have to rely on the ide okay there is other online options available to do this okay if you good is 
there is a website called base64 encode okay if you want to encode something suppose uh, i want to encode testing mini bytes okay so click on the encode here there is two option encode and decode so click on encode okay so this will encode and give the same output that we got in the eclipse id so whatever the program that you have written here maybe they would have uh, you know converted this in a form form of website and given it for others to use okay so you, you don't have to you know uh, encode and decode using the eclipse id alone you can you can also use online uh, utilities like this okay good now we will try to use this in our framework we have created something like this we will try to use it in our framework if you notice if you are watching this series from start you know that we are maintaining all the passwords in the excel sheet and someone of the customer uh, subscriber have already asked me uh, how we can uh, mask this password i don't want to show that's uh, that's why i'm creating this video guys so suppose we notice the password is admin123 now i want to encode this okay i want to encode admin123 okay click on encode and it's already there so i'm clicking on encode copy this whole thing put it here okay just remove this and just copy paste okay good now this is much better than before right instead of directly hard coding at least we are doing some form of encrypt, encrypt, uh, encoding this is not an encryption again but yeah some form of encoding let me close this and let me try to use this in our code okay if you notice in the rm hrm page we are we are we are entering the password whatever the value that's coming from your excel sheet is now passed to this particular uh, you know send keys method so what we can do we will create some uh, you know i don't want to you know decode this here okay if i decode this here i cannot use this in any other place okay this is not a better thing to do in our framework right so we already have lot of uh, you know understanding about why we need to create a class or method and when to create all these things okay so now i'm going to you know i cannot create it in any of these classes so in the ut this this is some kind of utils right decode utils so let me create a class here so maybe naming it as decode utils and if you are if you are following the video for uh, you know from the scratch i think you should be by now understand where to create the you know you know this particular class how this class should look like and other stuff so if you are new here please do watch the previous session guys it would be really helpful for you okay thank you and now if i go to this uh, i created a new class again there is no reason for this class to be non final so i am creating it as a final because i don't want someone to extend this particular class and let me hide my constructor so that no one can create an instance for this particular decode utils class because i want to have only one static method there is no reason for someone to create an object for this okay so there is no need so public uh, the reason i am giving public because this this method needs to be accessed from some other packages otherwise you can give a different uh, access modifier as well public set uh, get uh, decoded string maybe the name and this method going to return me a string okay okay and this will accept a string of encode string okay if you have an encoder string send it to me i will decode and give it to you that's what the method does okay return so if you notice we have already created this okay this is the line of statement that do the that, that does the conversion for us right okay this does the conversion for us but instead of hard coding this like this okay maybe it should be encoder string okay that's it so i think everything gets settled so we can now use it in our hrm login page okay instead of this i can call uh, decode utils dot get decoder string pass the string that's coming from your excel and decode it so that's what it's it, it's very easy so we have just to create a class just one simple method and one line of code does the job for us so you don't have to be uh, you know write a longer lines of code to do this task again guys this is not the much bet better way but you know uh, not a very effective way but much better than directly using your password okay so but if you are using some ci cd pipeline i would recommend you using any you know there is a option from uh, in jenkins where you can send your username and password from your uh, jenkins to the build so you can use that if not you can use some uh, you know advanced algorithms uh, to encrypt your password and decrypt it but again this is the simplest way to do this again it's based on your needs if time permits i'll cover that as well in the video thanks guys for listening to me you all have a very wonderful day i'll see you all in another great video tata bye bye